Hi guys, look what I found online on to uh, classify the website, not on to eBay. And it was uh, local to me and only two euros each. Vintage books about the Hawk missile system. So this one is a more technical one from August uh, 1974 by the Reston Arsenal Alabama Base Missile and Munition Center and School. And this one is more uh, salesman marketing or commercial book with uh, 3D uh, missile here in the front. Olive green cover. And this one is actually from the Right Iron Company. So, sadly, I will not be able to scan them because of the staples here. Maybe this one should be more easy to scan. I will uh, try out this one at least. But we will have a look at them. We will start with the... This one is uh, color. So we have uh, overview of the system and we see very nice uh, photos of the equipment so you can pause if you want to read the text so here are the qualities of the improved AUK system with modular construction of electronics as you can see digital technology but operational CX 1960. System description with all of the components of the system. And here is the wall arc battery, the PAR, the IC wire, the PCC, the ROR, connected to the hill. Connected to the launchers and missiles. So obviously, radar based missile system based on a lot of radars and a lot of very cool tool, uh, control consoles like this one, the TDECC. Here is a text for you. Fully automatic mode. Whenever it sees a plane, it shoots them. Interesting. Here is the role of uh, each. Uh, part of the system quite cool test device here looks like a big machine tool with obviously the radar seeker of the missile and some digital computer stuff with a big type drive also another test system here looks like we have an hybrid circuit here mobility you can move it around And carry it into your, into your very expensive US Air Force airplane or by helicopter. System validation 3000 flight tests. So they did shoot over 3000 of the missiles. What did become the parts of the missiles after this? Are they still somewhere in the US desert? landscape or uh, into landfills no idea 
but I would like to get some other parts. Shooted onto Eastman film. So there is no date on this book, it must be late uh, 70s, um, mid to late 70s I guess, but this one is not dated. Assembly. Looks a lot like the same shape that my uh, Ferrantier and I made the Tierdon of. Same uh, dish shape and same horn, but at a lot bigger scale. Now, here we have cool, uh, have cool stuff. Look at this console here. Looks like straight out from a uh, Science fiction movie. I can read all the controls here, so quite nice source of information this book. Obviously, all these units are filled with electronics. Oh, there are more of them. I am not uh, even done with this book. So, here you have an overview of the Guidance Group. Radar Illuminator. Ah, at least details about the missile. Solid state electronics with high reliability, I guess it is important. Here is your cluster of missiles. Shipping container. Test on the equipment group. Look at this. Nice palette of stuff here. Nice looking console, also. Which what seems to be an oscilloscope. The Nixie tube readouts. Here. Yeah. You can see. Oh, it is the equipment we did see in the other picture, it seems. With your missile. Uh, Guidance section here, teletype, probably some computers here. The uh, specifications with weight and the size of everything, and number of units you need with uh, taxpayers' dollars. Okay, 
prendre un nice photo. On veut donc chez une missile. Elle vit en Ok, it is alpha this one. Now the next one. Try to unzoom for this one. Safety hazards, yes, I believe it is important when you deal with missiles. I will zoom and scroll for you. So again the same stuff here but this book is uh, black and white. It is interesting that it is not written uh, confidential or restricted or anything like this. Here a wall a bunch of text. Pause if you want. So it gives information about all the parts of the system. More of it here, but soon we will have cool pictures. With the designations here of the equipment, the regular uh, designations. Again, your IC wire, your A and your launchers. This is a pretty big book, by the way. IPCP, big shutter with some radar on the top. Ah, here is one cool console with a big radar screen. A display on angle, tactical display on engagement control console. Now. More of this system layout. We had a look at this, how they did uh, include uh, control panels in here. You flip this open and you have access to everything. All the cool uh, displays and buttons to play with. Interview and the controls here. You have all the necessary information in this book.
I will take the time to read it some, someday. So all, it seems all the trailers are the same design, like this. So, but the controls are a little bit boring, not much to see. Interesting, they give you temperatures in both Fahrenheit and Celsius degrees, and even the distances in miles and kilometers. The improved launcher. the major portion of the electronic equipment. Yes, we can guess hydraulic stuff also. Launcher section control box. So this is a different kind of control box you might find on eBay. We are almost at the middle of the book. Okay. The import launcher control unit. Elevation on azimuth dials. Not a lot of buttons. Regular uh, aircraft grade uh, backlights here. Test set. Your group of three missiles. section or head, rocket motor, and the actuators. The missile control uh, guidance package. We actually see what the electronics look like and what the uh, radar looks like. So I believe it is matching on the other book. This uh, round parts with uh, modules on them. And I did see some, somewhere we have six of them. They call them sticks with uh, modules. I do not know what is this part here. Maybe arm and safe device. It is, they do not say, but it is uh, seems to be something else. But at least you can see a big thread to screw on the radar, it seems, here. Uh, Main, main umbilical contacts of the missile here probably to the launcher and your uh, antenna, radar antenna so this is a very cool picture this is a lot more boring the loader continue The 
Information Coordination Central Trailer Mounted. We will soon have cool pictures, but more text for you first. Ah, here is the cool stuff. The improved simulator. So we have a wall big trailer that is a simulator. There is something behind the curtain here. Quite weird. Is it a shower? No huge console here. Which is actually like this. So here you see the front of the console. Very cool, but here you can see it is actually very deep and there is more stuff on the side. So we have apparently uh, six uh, similar devices here, maybe here power supplies. It is really, really nice. Look at this. Wow. information about it. And here we have a BCC interior with a cool uh, other console we did see previously. Made with plug-in modules like this. I can see big capacitors strapped to the boards. Probably relays here. And uh, transistors. this the battery control central so it is the uh, business uh, workplace with this cool console in the middle information about lightweight shelter yes it is I guess it must be really lightweight transported by helicopter cargo plane or truck so not that easy obviously Pairing sequence. Ah, oh, this is interesting. We have levels of equipment from the IBCC to the my sign all the time in the other axis here. with probably what you see on the display yes the fire control consoles two of them detection. Here we have a square screen but uh, you can see it is actually a round display inside. Quite weird. Transportable electronic shop one on nine. So a lot of stuff in them. Fire extinguisher, table, folding chair, 
Heater Cabinet Electronic Shop Number 2 This one actually loaded with a bunch of uh, test equipment it seems Shop number 3 it, it, it makes a lot of electronics workshop Toolkit, toolkit, cabinet, shelving, everything you need ah, There is also the mobile team electronic shop Wow Seems it must be the two sides of the same thing. We are almost done with the book. Wow, free mobile team shops. Wow. Here is your high frequency console. I believe we did see it previously in another book, if you have a book. This is where you have your Nixi displays and your oscilloscope. We would love to get something like this to take apart, obviously. Cable system between everything, quite important. Power and data cable. 60 kilowatt generator, powering everything. Three of them actually. And here your wall list of uh, uh, information uh, books with the references. Some of them are marked as confidential or secret. So actually you have two levels. But some of them are not classified. It is interesting. Because about the my side, for instance, you can see some of the technical manuals are not uh, classified. So I will zoom on it for you, mainly. Researching these uh, references on the web will allow to find actually the PDF version of them. It would be interesting to try out. In particular, the ones about the missile. I will test, definitely try to find them online, but not sure what it will be. And the last pages are blank. Here also everything so is from August 1974 from the US Army My Sign Ammunition Center on School, Reston Arsenal, Alabama. Worth clicking on to Google Earth, probably. Is it still existing? Okay, so it was a super good find. Really for a super low price. So I'm quite happy with it. And a nice source of information and dreams. I would love to have one of them. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.